This is AJ Hogue, and this is the mini story for beliefs. Are you feeling good? Good posture? <sighs> Deep breathing. Big smile. Moving? I hope so. I'm not going to start this story until you are. All right, let's do it. There was a guy. Was there a girl or was there a guy? Oh, a guy. I just said it. There was a guy. And what was his name? Was his name Bill? No, 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 no. What was his name? Well, come on. What was his name? His name was George. There was a guy and his name was George. And George, of course, had a problem. What was his problem? Well, in fact, George had two problems. Oh, no. Not just one problem. George had two problems. How many problems did he have? Two. George had two problems. What was his first problem? Well, his first problem was that girls always laughed at him. Ooh, that's not a good problem. Who always laughed at George? Girls. All girls. All women. They all laughed at George. How often did girls laugh at George? Well, always. Every time he talked to them, they always laughed at him. What did they always do? They laughed at him. They always laughed at him. They always laughed at George. That's right. Girls always laughed at George. Whew. So that was his first problem. What was his second problem? Well, the second problem was that he loved, loved Angela. And, of course, Angela was a girl. So girls always laughed at George, and George loved Angela. So that was a problem. Who did George love? Angela. He loved Angela. He wanted to impress Angela. Did he want Angela to like him? Yes, he wanted to impress her. He wanted Angela to like him. He wanted Angela to think good things about him. He wanted to impress her. Who wanted to impress Angela? George. George wanted to impress Angela. What did he want to do? Well, he wanted to impress her, make her think good things about him. But of course, girls always laughed at him. Oh, no. Big problem for George. In fact, George had dating trauma. What did he have? Dating trauma. Dating what? Trauma. George had dating trauma. Dating pain. Dating injury. Why did George have dating trauma? Well, because girls always laughed at him when he asked them for a date. They always laughed at him when? Well, when he asked them for a date. 
when he asked them for a what, they always laughed at him? For a date. When he asked them for a date, they always laughed at him. So what did he have? Dating trauma. George had dating trauma. Dating pain. Deep dating pain. Was Angela a girl? Yes, she was. She was a girl. What kind of girl? A gorgeous girl. A beautiful girl. Now, was this good or bad? Of course, it was terrible. Beautiful girls laughed even more at George. Did beautiful girls laugh more or less at George? More. They laughed more. Poor George. Beautiful girls laughed even more at him. With beautiful girls, he had super dating trauma. So George had some very big problems. But one day he decided, I will develop new empowering beliefs. What did he say? Well, he said, I will develop new empowering beliefs. What kind of beliefs was he going to get? Empowering beliefs. He was going to get empowering beliefs. He was going to develop empowering beliefs. Was he going to develop old empowering beliefs? No, not old. His old beliefs were negative. His old beliefs were limiting. He was going to develop new empowering beliefs. New empowering what? Beliefs. What was he going to heal with his empowering beliefs? He was going to heal his dating trauma. He was going to heal his dating trauma with new empowering beliefs. So every day he said an incantation. Who said an incantation every day? George. George said a new incantation every day. When did he do it? How often? Every day. Every day he said a new incantation. What was the incantation? Do you know? I'll tell you. His incantation was, I'm handsome and I'm cool. Every day, George looked in the mirror and he said, I'm handsome and I'm cool. It was his incantation. He said it all the time. He was eating breakfast. He said, I'm handsome. And I'm cool. When he was walking to work, he said, I'm handsome and I'm cool. During lunch, he said, I'm handsome and I'm cool. Going home from work, he said, I'm handsome and I'm cool. Eating dinner, watching TV, all the time, every day, he said, the same incantation. I'm handsome and I'm cool. 
What was his incantation? <laughs> his incantation was, I'm handsome and I'm cool! He repeated it again and again and again and again. It was an incantation. He started to believe it. So he started to go to the gym. He went to the gym every day. At the gym, he worked out. He lifted weights. He exercised. What did he say when he was exercising? He said his incantation, of course. He said, I'm handsome and I'm cool. And he exercised. I'm handsome and I'm cool. And he exercised. I'm handsome and I'm cool. And he exercised. He got stronger. Then, he went to a public speaking class. He learned how to speak to people. And before every speech, what did he say? You know. He said his incantation. He said, hi. I'm George, and I'm handsome, and I'm cool. And then he gave his speech. And when he finished, he said, Thank you. I'm George, and I'm handsome, and I'm cool. He became stronger. His speaking got better and better and better. And one day, amazingly, he was handsome. And one day, amazingly, he was cool. He walked over to Angela's apartment. He knocked on the door. She answered. He said, hi. I'm George. I'm handsome, and I'm cool, and I want you. Of course, she yelled, You bet! You're hot! I love you! What did she say? She said, You bet! You bet means, uh, of course, definitely, I agree. She said, You bet! It means, uh, you're awesome. I agree with you. So she said, I agree, definitely. She said, you bet. And she said, you're hot. She said to George, you're hot. Hot means sexy. Hot means handsome and sexy. Or for a woman, beautiful and sexy. So she said, I agree, you're sexy. She said, you bet, you're hot. George was very happy. And of course, he was handsome and cool. All right, that is the end of the mini-story for beliefs. As always, listen to it many times. When you listen, strong posture, big smile, deep breaths, and move. And if you want to, you can be like George. You can say, I am a great English speaker in the morning. During lunch, you can say, I am a great English speaker. At work, you can say, hi, how you doing? I'm a great English speaker. When you answer the phone, you can say, hello, I'm a great English speaker. When you go home in the train, tell everybody on the train, hi, I'm a great English speaker. How are you? And when you get home, jump around your house, tell your girlfriend, tell your wife, tell your husband, tell your kids, I'm a great English speaker. And before you go to bed, look in the mirror and say, hi, I'm a great English speaker. You might actually believe it. It might come true. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>